Hello everybody, welcome to Zelda Speedruns, broadcasting the Zelda 2 Randomizer Standard Tournament 2022. We've got the Grand Finals for you today, it's Game 1 between Mirai and Animus United. Commenting for us, we have Chromaticlism and Lightning, and tracking our Mizu Hero Fox and Triforce Explorer. Say hello everybody! Hello! Hey! <laughs> Morning! <laughs> Morning? <laughs> morning somewhere somewhere not not um not anywhere near me <laughs> yeah so we were just looking over the flags we can talk about those a little bit um sure pe people who have been showing up to the tournament are gonna know um but i think it's interesting to note that i was very much in the tournament and still didn't totally understand everything that was happening <laughs> with the flags so yeah maybe worth a quick review yeah, the one thing that's standing out to me is um, the short GP. Yeah, I, I think that's actually very rare for what we've had in the standard tournament for the finals. Uh, finals have traditionally been a little more of a kind of challenge flags. So the longer GP, sometimes fewer heart containers, things like that. I'm realizing now Mirai was, was kind of pushing for us to do comms together. Were you my opponent last year in the standard tournament in the finals? Nope, I didn't play in standard last year. That was, the only thing that I did last SG year was live then. SGL, yeah. Yeah, that was the one. Um, and that had a pretty hard mode settings on for the finals, so that's what threw me off. But first cave we got is Death Mountain. Both of them go straight to that cave, because where else are you going to go? Oh, wow. So I had a little bit of uh, lag for Animus, so I'm I'm seeing that a little behind, but... Yeah, good Good to know what to expect from your biomes right away. Yep. Is that a thousand point pee bag you just picked up? It's 500 and 500. excellent find. Like if you're on the West Coast, like seriously, check those desert tiles. There, There's none of them and you got a really good chance of a pee bag. It's, it's kind of a no brainer if you haven't um, kind of incorporated that. Okay, so we got Fairy in the last slot of the that means that was Thundertown. Yeah, we're in Thundertown already. Yeah, and dead How to the did Moa. That happened so quickly. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Goodness. So that was Fairy that we got on Animus's side. Um, on the left, Mirai found a hint East Cross. So one of the random. That's reflect. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot the town signs tell you the the spells. It's so good. Which is fantastic. Oh. I mean, it's. E6 magic key. Very good. I'm I'm tracking locations here. I'm using the tracker to track item locations this time. Nice. I'm using oh, my uh, notes that I usually like type into when I'm playing. Oh, I think I saw your file before. Um, I mean, you you display it on stream, right? Yeah, I do like a text file, like Ooh, typing locations and stuff. Strength in the shield. We got reflect in shield town. Was it, um, gosh, it's going so quick. Was it, uh, New Kasudo was fire? Uh, New Kasuto. Thunder in yes. Ruto. Oh my goodness, this is New a lot of was fire. really quick. <laughs> this seed is just, like, really jam-packed with stuff right at the start. I did not see what Mirai found in Life Town here. Um, he got away from that, uh, sign really quickly. Yep, well, he's going for the spell, and we know oh, Thunder is, is in uh, Ruto, so this is Thunder. definitely not Thunder, or Fairy, or Reflect, so maybe Jump? I would get Jump early. And uh, Animus no, found spell. the trophy location. Okay, so Spell in Saria. Yep. Uh, Animus found a trophy location, but I did not see where it is. They're reading so fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Animus gets the magic key hint. Trophy in the maze. Thank you, Zero. Looked like Mirai was about to check that forest tile, but all these forest tiles in the west are just going to be like Bagu's Woods, basically. It's going to be really hard to find one that has like a little pea bag dropper, whatever in it. And which is really useful. With, yeah. And you go for those also. Um, to take early levels, it, it's not a bad idea to check a few of them, see if you get the odd uh, Bagu hut itself. Yep. Um, especially if you're on low levels and can count on um, 
getting just a lot of enemies spawn in those, so it's it's not a bad place to pick up a little bit. Animus, Animus just picked up the reflect. And headed into Life Town. Yep. Uh, as fairy, um, I didn't see a fairy cost yet. But I, I wonder, yep, going straight through. I'm going to get to the other side of Life Town here. Samurai. Oh, finding the medicine cave. Getting nailed. So I noticed Mirai has some double hits in their combat. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's that's fairly new. Mirai did a lot of um, calibrating of the gameplay, I feel like, in the past six months or however long it's been since last last uh, tournament. Yeah, he's hugging the dire. Like, he could have done a chain double hit there. He was, like, at the right spacing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mirai is definitely a player who uh, does their homework. Um, Could that be big? Could be a 500. One 50. of the most involved <laughs> people in the in the randomizer community. Um, yeah. So when I was playing SGL and he was he was doing a lot of um resources for the dungeon like layouts and stuff with the new maps or the new uh, mm -hmm. rooms. Sorry, the reconstructed rooms. Looks and like uh, he was like the one doing like a hundred different rooms and showing them all to people because a couple were like confused yeah. about him. Yeah, I wonder how much just like doing a project like that um, made the game a little more. What's the word I'm looking for? Not manageable, but that's not the right word. Uh, it just helped him learn. Yeah, yeah, learn faster. Little if these you... little projects. Learning how to learn is like step one of like a project like picking up Z2R or whatever cuz he got good in one year so <laughs> it yeah, kind of cool. shows how like a new player can just like all of a sudden be top tier if you know how to learn Yeah, just like watching him fight the Dyras. Yeah. Low low attack level Dyras are are oh my gosh. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's good patient combat too. That's that's nice. half the, half the battle is like going not being afraid to go in and be aggressive, and knowing when to like pull out because <laughs> yeah you you are gonna die from one or two hits on those low levels. Yeah, the red right. Dyra axes hit harder than the actual body of the Dyra, so maybe a lot of damage. Medicine is in the east. Um, it looked like was it life was the spell in Mido. Um, I, it must have been. Yes, I think so. Spell was spell is in the third town, which is Saria. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think this is the flute in Medicine Cave here because the flute is marked on Mariah's personal tracker, and he did visit this cave already. So we'll see if Animus gets the flute here. East for medicine. Yeah, I I think that is correct. Animus using the fire spell, lighten up the room. Only one flame, that sucks. Yeah, if anyone wants to get a little advantage in visibility, you can always activate all glitch and then see like the right side of the room through the Oh color. yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Not worth it at all, but uh <laughs> You could it possibly possible, route yeah. a dungeon and get the item somehow, if you get lucky. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've always wanted to throw in an HUD fairy. Um, just just in the odd chance that it um, doesn't totally mess up everything you have to up A. This but, is Jump Town here. So, Fire Town is Jump Town? Um, yeah, so that leaves only the one spell, which is going to be, um, let's see, how many have we got? Thunder, Reflect, uh, Fairy, Fire, it's going to be... Shield, Shield. In, in Denver. In Denver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why does that work? Why is... <laughs> That's a Buzz Thunder that? classic. <laughs> That's so, really insane that we have all of our spells routed, or like we know where they all are eight minutes in. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. That's That speaks to the accessibility of both the West and the East here. 
What's going to be tricky at this point is is how are we going to get to Maze Island? I think we have uh, we have one we have the the bridge and we have one of the caves accounted for. So is it going to be a cave, one of these cave locations, or is it going to be a raft that takes you to Maze Island? Right. And if it's a raft, that's a lot more work. Well, which depends. Pal which palace did uh, Animus jump into? This is five. Okay. We saw P1 and GP right next to where Mariah is. You're on the east. So you can leave P1 for last, although I, you'd really want to just get it done. <clears throat> but it's right next to GP, so... That is a really fast Guma, and this is attack two, which <laughs> that's going to be so many hits. Oh, man, and yeah. Full damage. You can't even um, absorb one blow. It's it's one hit KO. Attack two. I yeah, would shield really, would be great. I'd, I'd get out of here. Like, yeah. just, just killing uh, Guma alone at this attack level is going to take several minutes, and you could spend several minutes whittling that down and just take one hit. And that's that is really disheartening. Hammer. Nice. The hammer was that um, risen pee bag cave. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's that's the one with like the pyramids inside of it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Jeez, this is incredible patience and really, really slow. He's a very beefy Guma too. Yeah, this is like a one three one fight going on basically. Jeez. Might as well be. It's rough. I gotta say, that sprite really is incredibly done. You got the definition on the triceps and the lats. Like, <laughs> you do that within uh, the 8-bit context, that's, that's pretty amazing. Goofy looking fellow, but... Uh... Mariah is having a, what I call my favorite encounter, which is two Lizzies right next to each other, because it's gonna it give is. you like 500 XP. <laughs> you just double hit the hell out of them. It's my favorite enemy to kill, like, easily. They're just, oh, yeah. it's so satisfying to leap over those hammers and um, do those falling stabs and doubles. It's, oh, they're fun. Yeah, they're punching bags. Playable Guma. I need to get in on that action. Um, but going back to your point, Animus did take your advice. He definitely got out of there. Um... Error used to run randomizer, and he had to always tell himself, just because I can do something doesn't mean I should. Yeah. Yeah. I think so that's yeah, probably first. something the both of us run into in the randomizer a little bit. But like, yeah. yeah. I know I can do this. So It really makes your time suffer, unfortunately. It can. It can. It's Yeah. That's part of the game is, is the knowing when. <laughs> knowing when to just let something go for later. I mean, all of all of our routing schemes in vanilla are based around the idea that you save time by having higher attack levels. Yep. So if you can do that, if you can do that quickly, if you can avoid some of those really long, high hit point encounters until you have decent attack levels, it's the payoff is well worth it. Oh, we also have 50% encounter rate on. Yeah. Which I think has, has really been the paradigm, to use an academic term, um, for a while, uh, having that 50%. Yeah, I think there, it's a good reason to use it. Just not only is the seed faster, but also like um, you're introducing more players, being able to keep up with combat-based players. Mm-hmm. Fairy Town. I agree. Also, the, there's very little, I think, in, in the randomizer community actually trying to avoid encounters in the overworld. Like, a, a few of the more experienced players are going to do it. But for the most part, we just walk around and, and tank those encounters. So yeah. having it set at 50% really does equalize that when, you know, when there are a few of us out there who are trying to do slinks every single time. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, like, around. the encounter skips in VOD if you don't have fairy. Yeah... So those, those I feel like I, I see people put a little more um, diligence into. Like, it's it's such a clear way to um, save time, especially when you get into like max rando and you're not going to have as many resources just there. Like, you you may not need to collect fairy at all. Right, you might get a five second, five minute seed. <laughs> All right.
right. I don't think we've seen what fire does yet. It um, flashes something on screen. Could that be reflect? Hmm. Does reflect do that? I believe reflect does that. I believe thunder does that. I don't think um, it's thunder though, because uh, Animus is using it a lot in the medicine cave, and it wasn't yeah. hurting anything. It might be reflect. Not that it matters. You're not casting like reflect a lot. It would have been sick if it was like a thunder, obviously. All right, in the boner tower, as we call it sometimes, is the cross. Tower with a U. Cross for Mirai. With a U. It could be spell. It could be spell. I think spell doesn't turn everything into bots, right? In this? No, no. Um, one of the one of the flags has spell turning things into a random different enemy. Right. Yeah, that's great. Get some skeletons in the roof or in the in the in the wall. We need more wall skeletons. Love those five hundred point pee bags in the desert times. Yeah, Mariah's kind of cracked on XP right now after grinding Liz Alphas for a bit too. He sees this yeah. back. He loves this encounter. Oh, he's not even gonna fight him. He, he has too much. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> oh no, he is. And there's another orange to the left here too. So this is like way. almost a thousand XP. Life five looks pretty good. So he just cast reflect instead of fire. But yeah, then again, I think fire. I think um, I think Mirai picked up fire more recently. Just did in New Costito, and it's six magic containers. I don't know if we caught that, but it was six magic containers for the magic for the lady end. in there. Yeah. Oh, 300 points is so good. Oh, ouch. Glove block and palace one. Oh, and that's where Mirai's heading. Possibly. I think oh. he wants to get this XP and then up A or something. Maybe. Yeah, exactly what he's doing. Yeah, he's got the encounter. I really love this play. Like, I don't feel like we use the overworld a lot for this kind of thing, but... Um... Yeah, you find three Lizzies in an encounter? Hell yeah. And it's steep in a raft. Yep. So that must be the uh, Risen Pea Bag Cave then. So with these flags, the, the, the raft spot in the west can take you to like Maze Island, right? It can. Okay. And I think that's that's well 50 50 shot right now I don't think we saw the other cave path which could be somewhere in Death Mountain which would make this seed very interesting yep no boots that seemed like a, a lot of water in that Death Mountain mm -hmm. and we still don't have a glove so plenty of seed remaining until those things show up right, Animus in Nabudu We'll see if Mirai finds a different path too to get to either the boss or the item. That seems like a loop down there. Yeah, you so, never know, but... Remind me, all these palaces still keep their same amount of rooms that they would have normally, it's just reconstructed? I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, I think th there's a random number that is within the general range of rooms, but that might so, just... So, the range on a P5 would be, like, different than a range on a P1? Right. Um, but I may be wrong about that. It may be exactly what you're saying. I'm going off of intuition only, just based on playing in these seeds. Up or down 25%. Okay. That makes sense. Confirmed. Interesting. So... Huge presence in this tournament. Yeah, it's really key information, actually. Because this could be a very small P1, and that would mean that glove block is true. But left side, or no, it does, I was going to say left side is the item, but that's also not part of the the meta anymore. Okay, I got to check every right well, side, left side. It, it sort of is 
to a degree. Like, it's much more relevant when there isn't a continuation of the palace beyond the boss. So this this particular um, set of flags, it was often much better to check left when you oh. didn't have an item. Just, just because there's that extra chance of uh, the end of the palace being where the boss room is. And you're not going to find a boss room going left. So... The, the way I approached it, at least, was if I knew I didn't need an item, I went right. If I knew I did need an item, most of the time I was going left. Just gotcha. to rule it out. This was a magic container? Yeah. Yay, that's a good find. Yeah, I did forget Animus found that until I saw this room that Maria entered. I was like, oh, I saw that on Animus' side earlier. They have relatively similar coverage of the map so far. I think Mirai looked a little frustrated with that magic container find. Uh, you know, it's not a glove, but um, you need them. <laughs> you do. Magic is underrated. Like, the, the things that you can do by um, just letting yourself cast magic sometimes. Throw in that fire spell a little more often. Throw in shield, jump, here and there. Ferry over things. There's, there's a lot of the grind you don't actually need to do at all. You can just... You can just skip stuff, it's fine. And having more magic is super useful. Ooh, boo! Hey! That was like the last thing he was checking in that area. <laughs> awesome. Um, I was going to say, also, your first magic container also scales the most for you. Like, as you get more magic containers, they scale less in terms of, right. like, how useful they are. Some diminishing returns. All right, we had Child on Ocean Tile, which is linked to just Shield. Nice. Oh, we got a conch. One up conch. Oh, yeah, because we got Hoodlink. Hoodlink! <laughs> Grouping the projects. <laughs> oh, we're crouch stabbing that, Lizzie. Easy kill. They are a bit squishy on the top. Yeah, I wonder why that is. It's It's a very bizarre... Um, what do you call it? Very, very bizarre vulnerability. Yeah, because when you think about the face, like the skeletons, like the blue jumping skeletons in P4, for instance, in vanilla, you can't do that. You gotta like no. get in there. Which is too bad because they're really unpredictable. Yeah. The way they, the way they jump. I think you, you also need them in like some categories, like any percent deathless. So even more annoying. Right. Oh, Mirai going in the top of the left of the chimney? Does that mean he's going to get a, a left side exit? I think so. I'm not it's sure gotta where be the like... exact borders are on it, but it feels like it's right side every time. Yeah, I would think it'd have to be like the last pixel on the left. I think right. An Animus just found those. the boots too. Yep. Only thing and... different is it doesn't have the cross in the from one of the pee bag caves. And that's probably not going to be a very big factor, honestly. Nope. No candle. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. No candle. Um, they have fairy. Yeah, just, just said no to the child there. Yeah, shield at this point, it's just not worth it. No. Yeah. Life 5 is looking pretty sturdy, too. I, I saw Mirai take some pretty heavy hits. Um, I, I think it was the hammers from the blue Liz Alphos. Um, nice. Seemed, seemed to weather it pretty well, so... Pretty, pretty tough exteriors. Back in the west for Animus. Heading for a palace. Maybe just using it to duck, but... Nope, we're going to check P2? P P5? Was this the P5 one? N5. Slightly higher level. A little more manageable, Guma, if that's the case. Yeah. Tech 4 is much more manageable. Not great. Like, really, Guma doesn't become, like, a quick fight until that 6 to 8 range. Right. The way Animus was fighting Guma before, he got a pretty solid amount of hits in. I think he at least feels confident that Tech 4 is enough. Maybe not the Life 4. So well, he's just got to still play it safe. If you can withstand even one hit, that's such a huge difference over the Ooh. course of a long fight like this. Yep. Yeah, he's getting stuck in the top, the middle top of Guma's hitbox a lot, which really uh, makes it easy to get hit. 
Man, Animus' gameplay is really looking solid. Nice. Very confident, um, quick, aggressive combat. We're in the volcano. It's P2. Nice. Yeah, so and now you see the HP rolling down on Guma, so it's only a few more hits here. Yeah, he just, he just uh, rolled some really high hit points to start with. Yeah, Trails would love it. Be a clip in the Discord later for this one. Do you clip long Guma fights? <laughs> uh, I would. I think that's what is cool, right? <laughs> 22 hit, no damage. Did it, oh did it in like God. 20 seconds or something? It's crazy. And wasn't wasn't being cautious in the slightest. No slowdown whatsoever. Just yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, great fight. Gonna opt for the double levels here instead of the um, attack level, which is going to put Animus at the same levels as Mirai. Yeah, Mirai was the one grinding XP a lot more. And that is the first boss down. The first gem placed. Oh, we're in Death Mountain P2. That's that room. The West Side Death Mountain, they don't tell you about uh, in vanilla. Right. <laughs> I thought it was a community room for so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not like uh, alt root GP or anything. It's... I mean, I guess you could, but it just has to be significantly slower. You're doing an extra room or two, I think, if you if you go the other direction. Yeah, you can like loop back into the room with the elevator where they're on the bottom is the divers and the bats and two bots. But yeah, it's like so out of the way. Ooh, oh. Okay, so Caldera here and and uh, Palace Four. Love the Caldera. It looks like Palace Five, or yeah, it looks like the same palette as Palace Five. Oh, the same color scheme. Yeah. And uh, I think also had the the sparkly bricks, right? Yep. I always saw them as sparkly. Anyway, it could just be like a, a thick stucco kind of. They're just like you know the kind of thing yeah, that some... if you walk past it you get scraped. Yeah, some ugly speckle kind of stuff going on. This looks a little nicer, like a granite. Mm. Oh, Mariah is piecing out of that elevator spot. A little backtrack. Also, the start of this palace that Animus is in uses a fairy cast, which kind of sucks. Uh, so having to take a death here. Yep, good job taking damage on an IK first while you're in fairy, so you just don't get knocked back. Mm hmm. And not taking the death right at the end of the room. Right? <laughs> yeah. Which... <laughs> it's really easy to do. Oh, item room here for Animus. Oh Maybe man, I did not recognize glove. that as well. Oh, the falling yeah. crouch stabs on the IKs. Okay, it's now this, this is going to have to be a death abuse. That's a good death. That's a death warp for sure. Abuses for the magic. Only items, unfortunately, no gain by by collecting that except for knowledge. Yeah. This leads to an elevator, right? Yeah. Remember that room? Oh, is that a dead end up there? Oh, I didn't see it. I was looking over at the other screen. I'm assuming it was. If we're backtracking, it most likely was. That one that Mariah just walked into was, there is a pass-through version of that cave, or of that room, but uh, I think it has enemies at the start. And, Ouch. Yep. Animus had grabbed that earlier. So we just haven't seen the actual hammer cave, but we have boots. We can explore a little bit. I'm I'm guessing because we haven't seen a raft tile yet. This may be where we see it. Oh, true. And searching the outskirts is the best play. Nothing's going to be to the right though. So. But it there still could be something in on the left side there that like I've seen that too many times. Sneaky little watery place somewhere very yeah. in a corner that you can't see from the beginning. Yeah. We'll see some of these other locations 
and you know with the boots with the hammer there really isn't any place you can't get to within um, one of these biomes at this point so this is the room animus saw that it, he backtracked out of but it's just the uh, p4 room so yeah. i guess he was just counting rooms no you can't count rooms though maybe it was not wanting to go left i don't know yeah i don't know Maybe there was like something left unchecked and he was like, ah, I gotta check that first. Oh, yeah, don't have life spell. Well, yeah, you still want it for fairies, just in case. I like the extra fairy cast there. Yeah, <laughs> just in case. You never know, don't maybe a Gooma's fairy. there. A G-U-M-A, Gooma. Yes. Fun, fun distinction. Great of them to put that in. All yeah. right, fire reflect. <laughs> Nice. No shield still, so gotta be a little Ooh, careful. Yeah. Could have a death here. Looking good though. It's a pattern you'll never never see in vanilla because you're coming up an elevator. That's true. Damn, Animus got two bosses down. Same item progression, but having those bosses down is just pretty OP. Yeah. Goom is fast, but Carrick wasn't. If you had asked me, you know, five, ten minutes ago who was in the lead, I definitely would have sin said Mirai. Just from the way the levels were, the the item exploration seemed to have more resources overall, but yeah, it's hard to argue with two, uh, two palaces down and pretty much all the same resources. Oh, we got a boulder block we can check here. I, I want to say Mirai checked this. We're in the caldera for Mirai, which was P4. Oh, it's the glove no, the trophy no. gave. Big find, big find here. I wonder if this is one that... Um... Well, here's Mirai coming right behind him. Okay. So Not even doing Karak right now. Maybe because he wants to just get the item progression and then know that he doesn't have to go further into palaces, so he's not doing any double dips. Honestly, not a bad play. Yeah, that's the play. Because he's going to get the glove. He, he still has to obviously do Guma and Karak, but... Um, shoot. I, I still don't see Mirai with any kind of progressional advantage, though. I think it's just two bosses to none right now in terms of progression. Looked like a little bit of a sigh of relief there, but um, I'm reading at least a little bit of concern on Mirai's face here. Yeah, because that was an easy grab. That was a really easy glove to grab. But Animus had just gotten it, so little does he know. But yeah, you can see Animus is in, you know, just get the palaces done. Yeah, we're we're in go mode at this point. Um I can't remember if Animus actually picked up Thunder yet, but has the means to at the very least, and that would be the only thing preventing Go Mode. That and knowledge of Maze Island. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, both. where was the trophy? Um, you had found, you had seen that one earlier. Question. I just see it on the on the tracker. Um, I don't have I don't have the cave that was in. Yeah, it was early, early. And I remember Animus was in the east really early, but I think Mariah has seen all the eastern item checks at this point. Trophy is in Maze. Oh. Really? So, okay, so that's that's labeled wrong on the tracker then. We hit, oh, um... okay, yeah, yeah. You're right, because, okay, so what we found was the trophy hint in Maze Island. Gotcha. There we go. It's been corrected. The so, Mirai with a little bit of info, but remember he didn't check all of Death Mountain. If he had found that wrath spot, that could have put him in some kind of advantage. Right. And I don't think we have all the information yet that the wrath tile isn't somewhere else necessarily, but... Because mm -hmm. clearly we haven't seen all of the West. No, there's some... I think there was some upper right area where the from where the glove was. 
Man, what color? <laughs> what color is this palace animus is in? Because I have a word for it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be generous and say butterscotch. Okay, that's really generous. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. <laughs> Burn orange. Ooh, I like that one. We got a Barba off the elevator. That means Barba's not confirmed on the right side. But it is. It is on the right side. It's always right. Yeah, it's but it's trust. either up or down right. Yeah. Never left. That's the one thing that you can be sure of. Alright, good fighting. Clearly is used to doing it without jump. Yeah, this this is uh, it's safe and it's patient. You can do doubles on almost all of these stabs, but um, does require a fair amount of momentum, and more importantly, is not getting hit by that fire. That yep. fire pushes you back so far, so so quickly. Excuse me. Have some water. Oh, I love this Rebo fight room. That's great. Mm-hmm. A real arena. Oh, yeah, it's like a gladiator's arena. More, more outdoor boss fights, please. Can you imagine the, the screaming crowd behind? Yeah, it would be a different game. Yeah, it's yeah, you could do some sprite work. It wouldn't necessarily be the cleanest looking, but you could get some. Do a ROM hack with FDS sounds of the roars, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You could uh, import the the crowd from Mike Tyson's Punch Out or something. We found our rat spot. I think it was exactly like the upper right area of the west there. Yeah. And there's the magic key we we had the hint for Palace Six. Yep. Um, Mariah had that hint. He's the one who found that. Yep. It is useful, definitely. He hasn't done any palaces, you know. So. Oh wow. <laughs> Which, that is concerning at this point. This is this is shaping up to be a pretty quick seed. The the kind of position Animus is in right now, it's entirely possible we see sub hour. Yeah, he's got the three smallest palaces, palaces left. P one is right next to GP. They didn't even uh, finish GP because it's a glove, so they'll know. Ex he'll Animus will remember exactly where to go, possibly just to get straight to Horsehead. Never a guarantee of that. <laughs> Never a guarantee, and to be honest with you, I think a bit of P1 was just a loop, so there might be a, quite a bit of rooms if it rolled up. We'll see, or it could be they just get right past that glove block and, and uh, task completed. Yep. Yeah, with rooms beyond bosses, it really could just be a sub-hour seed real quick. Yeah, medicine is linked to life spell. And uh, this is the finals, so no. Yeah, we want that, though. Yep. That scales. You only got five. Six magic containers is a good spot to be in. At that point, you usually don't need to hunt more. If, some, if another one shows up, you take it, but... Six is a solid amount of magic. And level six, too. The, probably don't need anything more there. Oh, another boss. Oh my gosh. This is... Wow. That's a lot. Mariah just uh, starting his first boss fight here with Barbo. Yeah, if he wanted to gain any kind of ground, he needed to have like better attack levels, too. Have a fast Guma and whatnot. He's getting those doubles on the barber though, so that will be a little faster if he doesn't get knocked in. Kind of unfortunate um, levels for both runners here, being stuck with attack four that way. Yeah, now that they're five and six on magic and life, especially six six on animus side, it's gonna be hard to get any overflows to get your attack level up after uh, after attack five. Yeah. Well, we do have the uh, palace room's exit, or sorry, boss boss room's exit 
So you can you can take a gem, carry it over to your next palace, just make it part yeah. of the operation. So I don't I don't think either runner is in any trouble because of these levels for sure, but just not not the ideal place to be in if you want um, yeah some real speed and efficiency going through the end game. I'll be real with you, Chroma. I would be burning every gem right now. <laughs> <laughs> Like attack four, no problem. Oh wow! Because <laughs> I feel, I would feel behind after finding glove in such a free spot, you know. Jeez. Yeah, there'd be no way I'd be burning the gem. Like especially if it's like your Mirai's about to do a world tour of palaces here. Yeah, so, like, it is just, true. This is the best time to have higher attack. You just walk right through. Like you know, you you place the gem, walk through. You're not losing that much time. And you're gonna make it up pretty quickly, just maybe in one or two kills. He's Depends, looking for the like... trophy. Oh yeah. He didn't go into Ruto. Oh wow. Okay, that's rough then. All right, so Animus now has Thunder, or is is picking up Thunder here. I'd love that candle. A hint, at least. No, no, picked it up, picked it up. I missed that. Oh. Yeah, I guess he just didn't go into Ruto. Man, that's the that's the Maze Island though, so it doesn't matter. There's the useless medicine was on the grass tile. Yeah, wait, that that is the the reptile, right? It can't be anything else. That is the raft tile. Oh no! What is he thinking? Like that's a that's two free items. Maybe he's thinking like, ah, oh, before I start checking stuff, I need to just go find out where that item is. Did Mirai pick up the raft? Uh, it is marked on his tracker and our tracker. Okay. Oh, mine. Uh, my personal tracker. I'm just using to keep track of locations. Where yeah, they me found too. Them. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I didn't see it. All right, Animus or uh, sorry, Mirai doing Palace Four now. Yeah, kind of catching up. Uh, that's really the only way I can see it right now. Is is Mirai is behind and and catching up. I'm hoping that Mirai's thinking right now is do these um, palaces go do Maze Island last so that he can up A there. Mm -hmm. So not bad routing if that's the case. Meanwhile, we're just looking for P2, P1. We know P2 is in uh, the volcano, right? Yep. We did see that on Mirai's side. I don't think uh, Animus necessarily knows that yet. You know, he, he would by process of elimination. Yeah, and it's right here. So race is on. This is, this is going to be a very fast finish. Yep. Yeah, 41. Going to P2, P1's right next to GP, like... Incredible. Yeah. We got coconuts in the HUD. As uh, Animus dies. Mirai just just saw the, the one up there. And yeah. Dang it, there's 20 seconds. See, that's why, uh, man, having that hint from Ruto would just... He would not be checking items. He wouldn't have gotten the P3 item. Or the, sorry, the P6 item that was behind the Rebo. Yeah, it's usually worth it if you if it's a spell you know you're gonna need. Um, you you can't count on the the fact that you're just gonna explore everything, because then you're setting yourself up for the possibility that you will explore everything. Yeah, that so, um, routing only worked on b before the three point oh. Because yeah. you would be more locked into like the west, you wouldn't have like a maze, or you wouldn't have like you know the ability to get to the maze from from the west or anything like that. So that's true, and that's a fantastic point because it did used to feel different. <laughs> it did used yeah. to feel like ah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna collect everything anyway. Yeah, it's like oh, there's three caves around this town. I'll just check the caves first because what if it's this is Mito and I get the medicine in the third cave? But yeah, now it's like a little different. 
Right, but so we're now, out of this palace. Now that Mariah's actually uh, digging these palaces, it's looking uh, a little more evenly spaced between... Not, not evenly spaced, but a little closer. The progress being made. It's just hard to see no gems placed at all. Yeah. Uh, with, you know, a certain amount of time into the seed. It's a morale question at some point. Um, looks like he's heading for Maze Island, so... P2 is always my least favorite without the reconstructed rooms. It's just always my least favorite. <laughs> like, as much as 5 can really suck, as much as 6 can really suck, I, I think P2 is one that we just sort of treat as being, you know, one of the easier ones. But it still can have a fair amount of rooms. It does tend to be windy. Yeah, a lot of, like, um, committal corridors and stuff. Oh, that tin suit zipped up, zipped up the blocks. I saw that. that <laughs> Bothers me just as much in vanilla. I have to say, P two is sneaky hard. Yeah, I like the routing for P two in like a hundred percent NMG or any percent NMG, where you just do the necessary rooms and it perfectly routes the XP for you to get a tech four out of there. It's really efficient. Yeah. Tech 4 is in a tech 5, but yeah. If you're doing all keys, though, it's a... Um, <laughs> check check every dead end for treasure, which is how I tend to approach most RPGs. Like, you see the mini-map, there's, there's something that clearly is not where you're supposed to be going. You go there, because there's treasure there, and you must get all the treasure. We must do this. Yep, and in Zelda 2, it's just stupid keys. Just keys, just keys. Totally arbitrary. Why is our most popular category one where we have to get things we don't need? <laughs> I always assume because a lot of NES, uh, like mainline, you know, like Mario and stuff, they like to do glitchless. But it's funny because like Mario ended up turning into like one of the more glitch categories as like the last decade folded out. Right. So it's like all these main IP Nintendo games, people just like playing glitchless. I don't know. But hundred like I, I just don't see up A as a as a non pure thing. Yeah. It's it's fairly arbitrary because it is definitely oh Mirai just did the exact same thing Yeah, you around. just gotta get it. <laughs> it's it's just weird to me at, at almost any level of go mode to be right there in front of an item and not, not just grab it. It's just, it's there. Well, you know, I say that, but there are definitely situations I would skip items. Yeah. I mean, a heart container, I'm skipping it probably. Yeah. Or the child, but he already has a child. Anima skipped the child. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. We For all the practice, lineup. Nice. Says Mariah skipped the child. Right. Like picking up a key after you have the magic key. Oh god, yeah, you only do that if you want to start seeing letters in your menu. Just You're doing fun. like you would just fun. <laughs> but yeah, here's like our P one. Those max rando seeds when you roll like high XP bags. Um not high XP bags, uh, lots of like one ups in the drop pool and you end up with like D lives and that kind of thing. Yeah. I really enjoy that. That was my favorite with the... Uh, speaking of... Uh, Mario 1 getting, like, the infinite lives glitch. And... Not, not glitch, infinite lives exploit, I suppose. Yeah. And seeing, seeing the, like, letters and shapes and just weird stuff that comes up. A flower. <laughs> like, yeah. Every symbol possibly imaginable. Little corner of some object. Uh, Mariah did burn his gem at the end of uh, Respect. E3. Yep, Tag 5 is definitely good enough. So 
So with that then, only one boss behind Animus here. Never mind, oh. two bosses behind Animus here. <laughs> yeah. And kind this of This is a fun one. room. Guma's gonna go a little faster for uh, Mirai than Animus. Yeah, that that's a lot of it's a lot of heads. Cannot cast fairy because there's bricks right at the end. There was a Guma on one of these platforms that jumped off, thankfully. I'm Here is the bigger Guma. Get the uh, raw heads than those dudes. Yes. Fire works really well. And they don't respawn. Oh wow, okay, here we go. So Animus is ready to go to GP at this point. Yep. Burns the gem. What are you doing? Um... Finding a key, maybe? Because I, I don't see magic key marked. P6 has keys, or uh, P7 has keys now, yeah. It has, a, it has like a couple rooms with doors, right? There's a few, and there's one that is impassable with fairy. Oh, I can't grab that now. That's the key. That's the key that. Um, oh. Yeah. That's that's a room I believe that Animus went through, and maybe just consciously made a note like, I am not going to grab that key until that I'm going to That is so smart. Key. Yeah. How are they doing? Like, okay, I'm I'm definitely falling off of this game. There's this. The newer players are smarter than me. They're. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This this is really good um, mental tracking here. Animus has had just about the most perfect routing you could possibly get in a live race. Like hope to get, rather. Yeah. It's been so good. Fifty. And it's been heads up, right? Not just lucky, you just like, actually heads oh, absolutely. up. Yeah, just noticing and adjusting accordingly. Really great gameplay. Sub 50 minute entry into GP with everything needed, like fairly safe levels. Short GP, we, we already discussed. Yeah, short GP. And key in hand. Oh my gosh! Jeez. Quick Thunderbolt. I mean, I wouldn't want to give Animus a long GP right now. He, he deserves a short GP. <laughs> with his godlike routing. Oh, oh but wow. T-Bird hits hard. Man, shield is such a good spell. <laughs> Reflects a better one. Yeah. It could be. Oh, look at these jumps. These are great. On the left side. Alright, let's see when that HP is going to turn white. Oh, it already did. Okay. We got our fire reflect man. The, the double there. Two, uh, two standing, um, standing. Yep. Weird word to use when you're airborne. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen that jumpless before. The the double stab while upright like that. I think yeah, people tend to not use it because you hang out in the air longer. And if you were to throw the crouches in there, you get the random like three to four hits instead. It's. But you you really just kind of hone in on what you're good at, right? So it's interesting to me because it's similar to how you fight Barba, but he wasn't doing the double hits on Barba, so he's really ready to do double hits on Barba. Absolutely, Barba could go very very quickly. They're they're not terribly difficult though. Like it's it's not like doing doubles on Horsehead where you got to be really precise, and depending on how he walks, you might be screwed. Yeah, and you have to commit to holding right and stuff. This death now might play a role because uh, this is final life for Animus, and it was a fairly early Thunderbird, so we may have a fair amount of GP yet. Yeah. But uh, we are like going to be like a five minute differential going into GP for Mirai. Yeah. That's rough. Oh, wow. Oh, fun room. Oh, I jumped backwards. Yeah, Krista. just up there. You're dead. Krista, you summoned them. <laughs> I love how that orange one just, like, jumped backwards moonwalking. It's like, oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> up A. So if he was able to stab that bo uh, king bot, by the way, uh, it would despawn this bubble and stuff over here. Yeah. I think he was trying. 
And you can't always do that with the lower attack levels, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Like one or two stabs. Yeah, T-Bird is required, so we know we have to go back here. Love those fire dragon emotes. Mariah having a bit of a time finding the right place to go here. Oof. We've been through this room. Oh man, you just can't tank that. Oof, that's so much damage from a blue Foca. The bodies hurt. Oh, that elevator starts you in the pit. Nice. Man, that's a hell room on Mariah's side, but got Actually, through really clean. First, um, after that elevator. Which is another one of those just like, at least I get that out of the way kind of moves. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, look at Mariah just double fairing out of this room. He's really lucky that fairy really dropped at magic six. Oof. These, it, these can be the most stressful rooms. Oh my gosh, it's over. It is over. This is the boss room for Mariah to the left here, but wow. yeah. That is, that is such a fast time. Yeah, crazy. Didn't run into the key room, but had the key just in case. That's yeah, it's good. pretty good to do. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. The frustration just with the room he's in, and then he's about to he's about to see the dot done here. Yeah. Uh, well, in some ways, that's comforting. <laughs> oh, ouch. Man, what a run from, from Animus. GG. That was just a clinic. Beautiful playing. He literally could just do no wrong in that yeah. seed. I have no notes. I have no notes. <laughs> <laughs> and that looks like it might be a, a or maybe maybe he's running against averages, but yeah, really really good time with fifty five minutes seventeen on on the tracker there. With uh, I'm sure we'll have the official. Time up in a moment here. 55, 17. Mirai needs to, well, I don't know. The forfeit. Yep, I mean, like, that room just happened. You still have two bosses to do. Yep, I, I respect the uh, the forfeit under those conditions. There's, there's the kind of, there's the finish it out where you've run the race and, you know, you're there, and then there's the... Well, I guess I'll see the rest of it just to satisfy curiosity and finish. Yeah. Uh, this is fine. There's there's a few more runs to go. No need to draw it out needlessly, if, if uh, especially if things aren't going your way. That room was so rough. Speaking of, welcome in our runners, GG Animus. Uh, GG. Uh, yeah, that was uh, quite the uh, interesting seed. Um, <laughs> uh, having the uh, West uh, Death Mountain immediately to the east, uh, yeah, that, that was a little bit out of my element there, but I decided to capitalize on that early east exploration a little bit. Didn't want to get too far into it, but uh, I figured, well, this is a little different. Might as well, you know, try it. <laughs> Um, paid off big time with the quick ferry pickup. I mean, you get that out of the way early, that's fantastic. We were really admiring just how cleanly this was routed. Like, the, the gameplay was fantastic. Combat has definitely improved for you. Um, it was really efficient. Like, really good. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah, I've, I've definitely felt uh some good improvement over the past really over overall in the tournament but definitely over the past year i've uh, been working especially on t-bird combat was working on that the past few days uh, one of the I, I guess the big thing that kind of worried me was I, I went into p5 early and uh on attack two and then immediately saw guma and <laughs> that was a bad mistake <laughs> uh yeah 
Yeah, I didn't know if I was going to see Goomba or not early on, but you know, I was just trying to hope for an item or something in P5, but unfortunately I ran to Goomba and, well, I had to come back because <laughs> Attack Team just was not working on Goomba. But other than that, um, I was pretty happy with how the seed uh, was routed. I was, uh, I'm a little worried on Jet Seeds because I feel like I could miss something uh, that could screw me off early on, but uh, the fact that Thunder, Reflect, and Fairy were pretty quick early on, and uh, the other side of the west was actually segmented by the hammer. Uh, you had to go to the east to get the hammer. Uh, I think that ended up uh, forcing your hand to go into the east anyway, since the hammer was in the east. So I, I think that was the only real catch to the seed. I, I guess you need the raft for Maze Island too. Um, I don't remember exactly where I found that, but I, th I don't think it was too too bad. I think it was in the west or east somewhere. Uh, nope. It was the sunken pea bag cave. So okay. That was on... well, yeah, available. so sunken had the raft and risen had the hammer. That's right. Okay. Well, the thing you identified was the only thing that we found to criticize in there, which was just the Guma at, P2, uh, at attack two, and a Guma that rolled really high hit points. Is that's going to take a long time. You, you know, you might look out with a flawless fight. And, and your second go at it at attack four was flawless. That was really impressive. No slowdown whatsoever, even though it was a long fight. Yeah, and, and that's that's the gamble that I was taking there. Um, I was I was more doing it for, to get the item more so than to find Guma early. So as, as soon as I tried it once or whatever, I was like, yeah, let's just come back <laughs> since it's not that far to get back here. Um, Thing. GG. Um, Mirai. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, Mirai. Uh, yeah, uh, I got my ass kicked, apparently. I still had two gems to place. I had one the question. Two oh, go ahead. Uh, so did you ever find Ruto early, and did you not get the spell hint there? I did. It was in a maze lies the trophy. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. Uh, when I, well, when I saw the raft, I was like, well, I don't want to walk through three screens of jump cave again to get back to four. So I just mm -hmm. walked it backwards to go through to Parappa's one screen to go back to four and then go back to, uh, Maze Island. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 I just, I just felt that walking back, like up and aing out of, I guess I could have walked it out of Maze Island, but I had no idea how, you know, maze like it was, uh, everything was right next to the water, but. Um, like if I had to up an A and save and go back to start, that would have been a walk up to the entrance of the caldera, three screens of jump cave, and then back into four. I felt that was kind of a hike as opposed to just walking it back, dodging any encounters I could or faring out of them and going through one screen of jump, uh, one screen of Parappa cave. Right. I guess my thought process was the, I think you were like looking for items still, uh, around the caldera area, but maybe that was just you getting the magic key in P6 and that was it. At that well, point, I did pick up a few things because I wanted I was hoping for some more magic containers. And that's really yeah, what I okay. wanted, because I just thought I could just, uh, uh, you know, in case GP was rough or something like that, I, I just wanted more magic containers. That's all I wanted. But we picked up a candle along the way somewhere in there. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it's, just, it's too late when you walk in there. You might as well just grab it, and say, all right, let's let's go. <laughs> yeah, OK, I get you. The exact same move in that. Um, I can't remember which palace it was where there was the magic container in that kind of like little underpass room. Yeah. You walk left and you see it and oh, okay, I think I want that and you backtrack. You both did exactly yeah. the same move to do that. <laughs> yeah, there there were a few moments like that where um you know, you can see this sort of a little bit of frustration kind of mounting because you know, I could have just done that. I could have saved time here. I could have done that. Um I think for the most part um you were in pretty good standing. For, for a lot of this race, there was just a little bit more um, attention to dungeons being given, like just going in and completing dungeons uh, earlier from Animus. So that happened more along the way rather than as a result of um, uh, terminating all the exploration. Well, I jumped into one and two and they're both glove blocked and I was a little afraid to jump into anything after that until I found the glove. Yeah, understandable. 
Yeah, I didn't find the uh, Valley of Death till later, um, otherwise I would have jumped in the two. I was just having a tough time finding the Valley of Death, but yeah, that glove block in D1 got me uh, that early on as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch this one back and just see how I, I fell so far behind here. It's, uh, it's quite incredible if this is gonna be tomorrow night's race as well. I mean, man, grand I finals. To it did not look like you were super far behind like it, in terms of the way you were both playing and exploring it didn't look that way at all and i think you know dis despite the amount of time in the difference in the finishes it was little things only that that were making the difference here so uh you know the the i got my ass kicked yeah not necessarily <laughs> no this this could have easily gone the other way um Sometimes it's those 50-50 calls that you make, and they just add up. But, um, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Mariah got his ass kicked at all in this one. Uh, it's easy to just lose track of one thing in a seed like this. Uh, and sometimes, like, you know, today I think probably one of the big differences was, you know, I didn't find Valley of Death, so if that was a clearable palace for Mariah, you know, it would have been a lot closer, so yeah, I definitely played very aggressively as well, so I wasn't trying to, you know, <laughs> uh, stick around longer than I had to in a certain place, uh, and going different directions in palaces as usual, <laughs> so uh, some of them worked out, some of them didn't. Uh, P6 had a lot of elevators, <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, uh, I think this is going to be a great, great race and uh, tomorrow, and I'm sure I'm going to get my ass kicked tomorrow, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm not really taking anything from this. You know, objectively, like, th these these randomizer seeds are just a series of ass-kicking back and forth through the process of the entire seed. Every good play you make is something that's, you know, that it has that effect. Um, yeah. I'm really glad this is a best of three series, because the, the, the thing I'll say about this is it was a tremendously entertaining race very good example of the highest level of play that's out there like this I, I can't imagine any other runners performing at any higher of a level than what we saw tonight and if if it's going to be that way for the next match um hopefully we get more of a <laughs> i don't know more of, who rolls the bad seeds these days <laughs> i would love to everybody everybody <laughs> Well, I definitely won't cut you two slack as you two are among the best you two are runners as well. So uh, I appreciate you two taking the time to commentate today and making the finals uh, a very special uh, to get some extensive commentary in. I really appreciate it. Um, and I really appreciate ZSR for restreaming this, giving some uh, m yeah attention to the Zelda 2 randomizer. And I'm glad that we were able to put on such a great show tonight and hope uh, the rest of the week is just as great. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna add to that as well. This is um, I don't I don't know if Light and Chroma uh, talked about this at all pre race or during the race or whatever, but I um, I asked them to be here personally. Uh, asked them to be here tonight in in the commentary booth, and I'm I'm very excited that they were both able to make it with the with the nights that Animus and I scheduled and the times the days and the night the times that we scheduled. This was the only night that we could kind of align their schedules here to get them in. It was all last minute. That was all. About three hours ago, four hours ago, Chrome was finally like, "All right, I can make it," and uh, I was I was glad for that because it's uh, no matter what happened tonight, I was um, I know a lot of people like to watch me play and whatnot, and uh, I asked these two here to do the commentary simply because, uh, long story short, they're out of all the people that helped me, you know, along the way, and I kind of you know helped me model or mold myself into the player I am today. It's essentially chroma and light that really really stood out amongst everyone i know this may be a weird thing to say or maybe maybe a weird thing to hear for these guys but uh that's definitely um these are the two runners that i absolutely love to watch the most there's something about the way that they execute combat and the way that they play that's just different and i, I think it's kind of a marriage between the the discipline of the vanilla running that they do and the rando thunderdome that they dabble in that they dabble in and that those two things connected together make for some really great entertaining gameplay and uh again thanks to them 
for agreeing to this. I'm honored that they were able to do this commentary, even though, <laughs> wow, man, I, I really got my ass kicked. No, um, no, but it's 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 uh, it's it's great. So yeah, uh, big shout out to these two for sure. Uh, Chroma, don't let the vanilla categories pull you away for too long. And light, I I, I feel you're on a what I would consider a temporary absence, a temporary leave from rando and tournaments. So I hope that I'm st <laughs> whatever you step back into the. Uh, Rando Thunderdome, if you do at some point, I hope that I am present in the community when that's uh, around so we can race again, other than just that one time in STL. So uh, yeah, thanks to you two again for jumping in. Thanks to ZSR for um, restreaming this and uh, everyone involved. And yeah, tomorrow night, same time, same place. Man, I'm speechless. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind words for sure. Um, I'm glad you thought of us. I, I've uh, I've actually felt the same way about lights gameplay for a long time myself. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, we we kind of we kind of respect each other in this community. It's kind of cool. We're kind of not very toxic. I like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would love it if it stays that way. <laughs> it's been really good. It's been really good for a while. Everyone's humble. I love it for the most part. Ninety nine percent. Yeah. I definitely have to humble myself because, you know, everyone in this uh, commentary truth can easily be me, so <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Committing yeah, myself and vice from versa, this day right? forward. Committing yeah. myself to being a jerk from this day forward. Just <laughs> <one more. laughs> All right, are we good for me to wrap it up? I think so. Yeah, sure. All right. So thank you to our runners, Animus United and Mirai. That was an awesome race to watch. Thank you to our commentators, Chromaticlism and Lightning. And thank you to our trackers, Mizu Hero Fox and Triforce Explorer. Everyone did a fantastic job. As mentioned, tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern, on Monday, we have Game 2 between Mariah and Animus United uh, for the Zelda 2 Randomizer Tournament Grand Finals. Also, at 3 p.m. earlier in the day tomorrow, we have a Breath of the Wild 80% qualifier, number 9 for their tournament that's going on. And that's actually all that's on the schedule for tomorrow. So hopefully you find something you want to watch. Hope you had a wonderful time tonight. And with that, we're going to go and sign off here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And have a fantastic rest of your night.